A pity. You're all seriously ill, it seems. Lock off! Anyone who wants to leave can go. Huh? Are your perspectives truly this limited? You'd rather be the top high schooler in this soccer backwater than the world's best striker? <laughs> the future of Japan is in your hands? It's enough to make a man weep. What? Listen up. There's no denying Japanese soccer's first-rate teamwork. Call it the result of our country's characteristic thoughtfulness. But in all other aspects of the sport, we are second-rate. Let me ask you this. What is soccer? Is it about 11 players working together? The bonds that you form? Self-sacrifice? Fighting for your teammates? That kind of thinking is why this country's game has remained weak. I'll tell you the right answer. Soccer is about one thing. Scoring more goals than your opponent does. Whoever scores the most is the best. End of story. If you just want a fun game with your pals, then lock off. What's with this guy? He's freaking nuts. Mm. Japan's team isn't weak. Hmm. Do you mean the same losers who have never claimed a single World Cup? You're either the best there is or you're trash. Got it? Instead of assisting my teammates to win 1-0, to zero, it feels better to pull off a hat trick and lose 3-4. to four. This direct quote from Noel Noah, who beat out Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo to win the Ballon d'Or, tells us how highly the world's best striker values your precious teamwork. Here's one from Eric Cantona. I don't care about my team. I just want to stand out. And from Pele, the world's best forward, midfielder, defender, and goalkeeper. Whichever you ask about, the answer is still me. What you think? Pretty awful, right? But they're three of the best players in history, and they're all egoists down to the very core. <laughs> That's what Japanese soccer is lacking. It's sad but true. You can't possibly become the world's best striker unless you're also the world's biggest egoist. The things this guy is saying. Which is why we're all here. So I can create a player who has what it takes. They can't be right. Someone who will climb atop 299 corpses. A solitary hero. I can't do it. I'm no one. I've achieved nothing. Picture the scene. You've made it all the way to the World Cup final. 80,000 people in the stands. You down on the field. The score is nil-nil in the second half of extra time. It's the last play. With a pass from your teammate, you're through the defense. You against the goalkeeper. Six meters to the right is your teammate. If you pass, your team's guaranteed to score a goal. The championships, the hope of a nation, they're all riding on you. Only an insane egoist could take that shot without a second's hesitation. Now pass through and be transformed. Discard your common sense. Remember, out there on the field, you're the star. This is the opposite of everything I've been taught. Nothing should bring you more joy than your own goals. Live only for that glorious moment. And if you can't, then you're no striker at all.